Right, hi right, guys, welcome to another episode of The Moaning Yorkshireman and on today's episode I'm going to be talking about public transport. Yes, public transport is something that uh, I fortunately don't have to use anymore. Thankfully I've now got a car and I've passed my tests and stuff but Jesus Christ, when I had to use it, it was a fucking nightmare and I hated every second of it because in England, public transport is just, in one word, shite. Um, yeah, my experiences on public transport were 70% alright, but 30% was shit, but it was that shit then that you didn't want to go on it, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, my public transport experiences started when I started college back in 2010, god that sounds like fucking ages ago, uh, I used to take the train to Doncaster, the delights of Donny, if it weren't bad enough getting on the train to Doncaster, it was then the journey there, um, but yeah, the, you know, it used to be expensive, it used to be like £2.60 just to get to Doncaster, return, and you're not getting any money for it, you know, you're not getting paid to go to college, I wasn't anyway. Um, so, you know, it's just fucking ridiculous that they charge you that much. That was on a, a student pass, but, you know, and you had to put up with the fact that it was like, the, that it was always late, or, you know, the one in the morning, at 8 o'clock in the morning, we always used to be like 10 minutes late, and then you used to have to rush to college and shit. Just like, for fuck's sake, it does me head in. Uh, but the one standout moment for me was, uh, obviously, because I had a student pass, it meant I could only get my uh, discounted travel rate at the actual uh, train station. I couldn't get the pass on the train. I couldn't use the pass on the train. So I went to the train station and the ticket office was shut. So it said ticket office closed, get tickets on train. All right, no worries. Jumped on the train and yeah, jumped on the train. No conductor came round, so I didn't pay for a ticket, obviously. I couldn't get it on the ticket office, couldn't get it on the train. Got off the train station at Donny and it was Doncaster Racers on, so there was the Rail Rollers, as I like to call them. And they were stood getting ready for you to get off the train and checking your tickets. So they asked me, have you got a ticket? I'm like, nope. It's like, right, why haven't you? I was like, well, the ticket office was shut in Swinton and the conductor never came down the train. It's like, don't believe that for a second, mate, because on my rotor it says that the ticket office is open and obviously a conductor always comes down the train. I'm like, well, I've not got a ticket and this is the reason why. All right. I says... I'm not being funny, but why has everyone else at Swinton not got a ticket? There's like 17 of us here that don't have a ticket from Swinton. Are you telling us all of us were fair dodging today, you dick? It's like, well, it don't work like that, mate. You know, you're gonna, you're gonna, it's, uh, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be as simple as just paying for your ticket and that's it. I was like, why isn't it? I've got me two pound sixty here. I'll just give you the two pound sixty, and we'll move on, shall we? He's like, no, nope, don't work like that, mate. You're gonna have to get fined, and we're probably even gonna have to take you. And I'm like. Look, do what the fuck you want to do, but as long as I can get to college on time, I don't give a shit, mate. It's like, well, it's no need to be, no need for language like that. There's no need to be uh, kicking off like that. I'll have to uh, arrest you if you carry on. I'm like, are you being real? I've got two pounds. It's two pounds sixty. I've got two pounds sixty. You want two pounds sixty? I'll give you two pounds sixty. All right. You know, let's kick. Let's just stop calling me a fucking criminal for starters. Making out like I've like deliberately tried to not pay for getting on a train just because it says the ticket office is open in Swinton because it fucking isn't. All right. So anyway, after 15 minutes of debating, he finally decides that oh, the ticket office might have been shut in Swinton, and he doesn't know why the conductor didn't come down the train. That's not my problem. So he pays two pound sixty. He gives me two tickets. Um, gives me the tickets for a return as well. And coming back from the train station, uh, coming back from college to the train station, the rail rustlers were still there. They wanted to check my ticket before I got on the train. And the ticket, the people, the rail rustlers getting on the train said I couldn't use the ticket that the fucking rail coppers had given me just three hours earlier because he'd marked it down as a child and I should be an adult when I'm on a student pass. And I'm like... Are you being fucking real? You can't tell your ass from your elbow because they're doing one set of rules, you're doing another, mate. So, for fuck's sake, sort yourself out. You know, so I just went on. I just went on the fucking train. I weren't stopping. I'm like, I'm just legit... You know, how can the fucking rail coppers not know what each other are doing? Oh, it can't be a child. It's got to be an adult. You'll have to pay another £2.60. I'm like, fuck off. Not paying another £2.60. Who'd you get them tickets off? I got them off at rail coppers that are, uh, you know laying people onto the platform. It's like, oh, why didn't you get a ticket before? And I'm like, I've been through this! Fuck's sake, been through this! Christ! 
Oh, but the thing is, you pay £2.60 to get on a fucking crammed train that's going to be late, or a crammed bus that's always never on time, that travels around the world on buses as well. You know, you can't just go fucking Swinton to Doncaster, you've got to go via fucking Goldthorpe on our fucking bus routes. It's a nightmare. Um, but you, you pay to stand up or sit down on a crammed train next to a sweaty paedophile at the side of you, and you're just like, really? I'm paying for this. There's no pleasure in it. And I use public transport a lot when I'm in Europe, you know, the tram systems and that. And it's fucking brilliant. It costs you like three quid, and you can just jump on over you want, when you want, whatever you want. There's always plenty of trams, plenty of buses, plenty of trains, and it works fine. But we can't adopt that system in the UK, because we have to be fucking jobs with so we have to privatise everything. And it's just so fucking garbage. You know, and now I... And it's not just that, but it's the people who use public transport as well. And I'm not saying that as in, like, I'm fucking hierarchy and I'm above everyone and that. But you know the kind of people that use public transport and don't make out like you don't, because you definitely do. And the perfect example of that is now, I, I now work in an airport. And the other week we had a bloke show up with a hand cabin bag uh, that goes into the uh, locker above the seats inside the, inside the uh, aircraft. Uh, so he doesn't have to put it in the hold, he just takes it on his hand luggage. And the maximum amount of weight you can carry is a 10 kilogram bag. He weighed his bag, it weighed take 10, uh, 12 kilograms, sorry. Weighed 12 kilograms. And we said, sorry, you're going to have to pay for, you know, an extra £15, because that's what the price was. Pay an extra £15 for the additional 2 kilograms, or the bag will have to go in the hold. You know, it's as simple as that. It, it weighs more than 10 kilograms, isn't it? Oh, bloody hell, I can't be dealing with this. Like, do you mean you can't be dealing with this? Oh, well, it's just bloody, bloody Theresa May, isn't it, doing all this? I'm like, did Theresa May pack your bags? Because I'm pretty sure she didn't. And it's just like that moment where you think, fucking hell, it is clearly like 90% retards that use fucking public transport. They don't fucking understand things, do they? You know, planes are quite stringent with things, and they have to be, because of weights and loads and stuff. But, you know, for him just to come out with, it's bloody Theresa May, isn't it? And you're just like, for fuck's sake, get real, screw your head on, will you? They're the kind of fucking bellends that voted out in Brexit. Do you know what I mean? I mean, <laughs> I'm not being funny, but people have. if people had a justifiable reason to vote out, then that's fair enough. But anyway, that's a different subject, I'm not all about that. But yeah, you know what I mean? They're, they're just the thickos that really don't give a shit. Um, but yeah, you know, it's like you can't educate pork. That's my motto at times. And some people, I really do look at them and go, wow, I could possibly train a pig better than you. But it's just unbelievable. Public transport, it just fucking riles me. Absolutely riles me. But, you know, what can you say? What can you do, eh? You know, I don't use it anymore, thank fuck, but when I do use it, it tends to work all right. But, Jesus Christ, I... Seriously, if you're a genuine person like me that uses public transport that isn't a sweaty paedophile, then I do feel sorry for you. But, uh, yeah, what can you say? What can you say? So, anyway, I'll leave it there for this one, just a short rant. But uh, until next time, guys, I shall see you again very soon. And much love and ta -ra.